When we talk about someone that paved his way in the NFL from nothing to something quite impressive, then Minnesota Vikings wide receiver Adam Thielen is your man. A perfect Cinderella story, from not being drafted after playing college football to paving his way all the way to the NFL and dominating quite effortlessly. It's just impressive. But how good is Adam Thielen actually? How was he able to make it to the NFL? Thielen received a $500 scholarship into Minnesota State, but honestly, that was barely enough to pay for his books. He needed to fight through every step of his journey, which paid off. Thielen got his D2 football start with the Mavericks and dominated it. Although he stayed out of competition in his freshman year in 2009, Thielen had a modest campaign. He appeared in only 9 games, catching 21 passes for 225 yards and one touchdown, which honestly wasn't so impressive. That's his worst season so far. From there, the only way for Thielen is up. For his sophomore and junior years, Thielen had 103 catches for 1,041 yards. In his season year, Thielen had a big break, which was tied for the most passes in a single season in Mavericks football history and the fourth most yards covered in a season. In 2012, Thielen finished his college career playing 46 games and 198 catches for 2,802 yards and 20 touchdowns. He basically went from underdog straight to the top. Now, isn't that a perfect Cinderella story? He basically went from underdog straight to the top. Despite having an impressive college career, Thielen was not drafted in the 2013 NFL Draft. Thielen went low-key, not to give up, but to train intensely so he could become so good that NFL scouts would have a reason to even look at him. This worked because he got invited to two rookie camps with the Carolina Panthers and the Minnesota Vikings. He started in the lowest practice squad and eventually made his way to the highest practice squad on the last day of camp. However, the 90-man roster was already set, so Thielen's impressive performance at the tryout made the Vikings sign him as an undrafted free agent. Again, Thielen fought his way from being unnoticed to making it to the Vikings roster. Ever since then, he has been setting records. Thielen made his NFL debut in 2014 in a road game against the St. Louis Rams. At the end of the season, he had a total of 8 catches for 137 yards and 1 offensive touchdown. He was named the NFC Special Teams Player of Week 13 after his first NFL touchdown was on a special teams play. He was also named to the All-Pro Special Teams Kick Return Unit and was the All-NFC North Special Team Player of the Year, all within his very first season in the NFL. How was this man not drafted? We could have missed all of this awesomeness and talent. In 2015, he ended the season with 12 catches for 144 yards and was honored as the Vikings Special Teams Player of the Year. Despite beginning the 2016 season as an underdog, Thielen led the Vikings with 967 receiving yards, with 69 catches and 5 touchdowns. He was ranked the 18th best receiver and was named NFL's unsung hero for the Vikings. In the 2017 season, Thielen had a total of 1,276 receiving yards, with Thielen made it to the upper rank of the wide receivers in the NFL ranking number 36 on the NFL Top 100 players. That same year, he was selected for the Pro Bowl and was named a second-team All-Pro. The following season, 2018, Thielen tied Calvin Johnson's record of eight consecutive games of 100-plus receiving yards in the NFL. With a new quarterback, Kirk Cousins, Thielen finished the season with 113 catches for 1,373 receiving yards and nine touchdowns. He made the Pro Bowl again that year and was ranked the 33rd player by his peers in the NFL. He made the Pro Bowl again that year and was ranked the 33rd player by his peers in the NFL 100 for 2019. In 2019, Thielen finished the season with 30 catches for 418 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns. He suffered a hamstring injury in Week 7 of the season, returning in Week 1, which explains the unusually overwhelming stats for that season. In the 2020 season, Thielen came back bursting 74 catches for 925 yards and 14 touchdowns, making his touchdown the most in franchise history since Randy Moss's 17 touchdowns in 2000. 
In the 2021 season, Thielen finished the season with 67 catches for 726 yards and 10 touchdowns as a starting wide receiver with Justin Jefferson. Now, Thielen has earned his place as a Viking legend and is one of the team's top 15 players of all time in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. Throughout his career in the NFL so far, Thielen has continued to progress year after year and has been considered to be one of the best wide receivers in the league. And we must say, even at 32, he still deserves the credit. Every NFL receiver brings their own individual talents and styles of play to the field. What does Adam Thielen do that makes him such a threat without having any dominating size or attribute advantages? Typically, receivers will try to hold back, engage themselves before catching a ball, or pitter-pattering their feet before coming out of their break, which is always a sure sign that they are about to stop, which may give their defenders an advantage. However, this is not the case with Thielen. Thielen is one very precise route runner and may, in fact, just be one of the best route runners in the NFL. He makes it look so easy. He makes very difficult catches and he never gives up on the ball. He doesn't just make his routine runs look easy, he also makes every routine run look the same, until boom. He knows how and exactly when to catch the ball in different situations on the field and covers yards while at it. But what separates him from many others and is the main reason he is so good in the league and has accomplished so much is his bulletproof mentality to never quit. With the odds stacked against him and multiple discouraging letdowns, he never gave up on his career and he continued to grind year after year, progressing every step of the way. Now, there is no denying that Adam Thielen is one of the NFL's elite wide receivers. And with that, we end today's video. What are your thoughts on Adam Thielen? Do you consider him an elite wide receiver? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you are new here, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.